Hello and welcome to Garrock Farms. It's day number three of the week-long series that we're putting together, showing you all the ins and outs and the day-to-day -day things here on the dairy farm. I just finished up feeding and I've put together the milk house, got it all ready to go. So we're ready to start milking. As you can see by the way I'm dressed, the weather's got a lot nicer. It's almost got a little too warm. It's like right at uh, that freezing point of, you know, 30, 32 degrees. But on today's agenda, um, I wanna show you all what I do here in the dairy barn after we get done milking, when it comes to cleaning up the stalls and the mangers and laying out the bedding and things like that. I wanna show you what we do since it's warming up. I want to take advantage of it. I want to clean out our young stock barn. We refer to it as the calf barn. So we're going to clean that out today. So it should be a pretty busy day. I hope you guys all enjoy. We'll check in after milking. So I finished milking. That all went really good. Uh, fed the calves. Uh, milked that cow down in the maternity pen that just had a calf. That went really well. So uh, nothing to complain about this morning. But we got to get to work. I'm going to let these cows out. Come on, girl, let's go. Come on. You got her. So I got all the cows out of the barn and now it's a mess in here. So uh, I'm gonna start scraping up and then I'll go grab the tractor with the manure spreader and back it under the auger. We got the tractor up here and the manure spreader so i'm going to start the auger and then uh, run the barn cleaner chain and finish scraping up the walk while that's running
the manure all scraped up. And when I wait for the gutter chain to finish unloading into the auger and up into the manure spreader, I like to sweep up the mangers and uh, kind of clean them up and make them look a little nicer. So I finished sweeping up the one side. That manger's clean. And the gutter chain is getting to the end here. So we're gonna shut it off once it comes around. It was hard to show you guys when it was all going on. But what I just did is I shut the chain off, but we shut it off in a certain spot. It's where the paddles and the chain are dry compared to, you know, inside the barn, they're always wet or full of manure. It's not such a big deal now because it, it warmed up, but when it gets cold again, you don't want all those wet and manure covered paddles on the outside of your barn where it's cold because then they'll freeze and then you'll just have a mess of problems. With the auger outside here, I take a, a flat scraper and I try to clean it the best I can. And then we throw some nice bedding down in there to kind of clean it up. And we're trying to wipe out any of the unwanted liquid or manure that might be in the auger. So then when we go to start it up on the next cold day, then it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna be frozen solid. This part, and cleaning up your chain and your auger and making sure that's all set and ready to go is more important when it's so cold out during the summertime or you know when it's you know 40 50 degree days you don't have to worry about it as much but now that we you know have a lot of colder days it's uh, it's important to keep track of and then out here we've been building up a bedding pack because some of our milking cows have to sleep outside at night so we try to you know give them a nice spot to do so since it's a nicer warmer day i'm going to come in here with the skid steer and clean all this out but first i'm going to go back to inside the barn and i'm going to finish sweeping up the other side and uh, throw down some hay All right, so I got all the hay fed and I got a bale ready to go outside to the bunk after I let the herd in. We used to feed a lot more hay, but uh, we have a nice big feeder out back that we put bales in and that's what they're munching on right now. So works a lot better, a lot less uh, work to do inside the barn. But I'm gonna go grab the skid steer and uh, clean up this bedding pack.
So I got that cleaned up. Now uh, time to work on the bedding. Got to carry that in the barn and bed the stalls. The barn is freshly bedded up. I spread out a bag of barn lime to keep the floor dry. Uh, now I have to go scrape out the alley in our heifer barn, load that onto the spreader, and then take that load of manure. After that, I'm gonna go have lunch, and then I'll check back in with you guys when I'm cleaning up the calf barn. So I got done putting the cows in, and then we started in here on the calf barn. I already did the front half close to the manger, and with this gate system in here, we're able to lock the cattle in the front half while we clean out the back half and vice versa when we clean the front half then we locked them in the back half so that we had easy access this barn is really nice for that that you can clean it really easily without moving cattle around a whole lot when we get done cleaning this lane here we're going to clean out the maternity pen up there that's the one disadvantage to this warmer weather is that everything just turns to slop so much quicker the bedding doesn't last as long and the cattle get you know dirtier faster it'd be nice if it stayed at like 25 degrees that would be perfect i guess uh, silver lining i get a chance to clean out a, a bedding pack that's been here for a while since it got warm enough
Well, it was a pretty productive day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, what we do in the dairy barn after milking. And uh, everyone got some fresh bedding today, so that's really nice. All that's left to do is evening chores and milking, and it's getting dark here on us. So I'm gonna end off the video today. I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in the series, and we'll see you next time.